it's a two-in-one procedure that promises to give you a bigger bust without implants and, get this, zap your own fat at the same time. The procedure mm. takes excess fat from your thighs, your tummy, your butt, moves it up to the chest. <laughs> is this a good idea? Cosmetic surgeon Dr. Jennifer Walden is here. She's the program director at the Department of Plastic Surgery at Manhattan Eye, Ear, and Throat Hospital. Hi. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Okay, so essentially uh, you're taking it from down here and you're putting it up top. Is it a good idea? Right. Well, you have to be skeptical of any two-for-one medical procedure to sure. start out. But basically, it raises several concerns, the first of which fat may reabsorb. So you may be left without a result two or three years later. But the most concerning factor is we don't have any long-term clinical trials to show that fat injected into the breast doesn't hinder or mimic the detection of breast cancer. Sure, okay. And that would be, of course, extremely important, obviously, because you would never want to do a medical procedure for any reason that would then lead you to questionable results on a mammogram. Right. Breast cancer occurs in one in eight women. It's a cancer-prone organ, and actually the fat can cause lumps, bumps, cysts, and calcifications that, to radiologists, may look like a breast cancer and lead to unnecessary biopsies of the breast. Great point. So until that data is out there five years, ten years, twenty years, years out with the involvement of radiologists and oncologists in the studies, then we can't have a blanket endorsement of this procedure yet. Right, and this is being done over in the United Kingdom where they're, they're a little more advanced, they're, they're a little further down the road than we are on this particular procedure, right? I think they're saying that they've had studies that are going on four or five years, but they need to publish their research in peer-reviewed literature, So, that, and they have to have multi-centered studies, not just uh, one medical group yeah. doing the study and sure. the plastic surgeon saying, great, you look good after one year. Yeah. You start started out by saying that the two for one is not always a good deal, but there's a lot of people out there, including myself, who would say, well, wow, I could get rid of the fat here, and I, well, why not? I mean, I don't want to do implants, but that sounds like right. maybe a good idea. Well, it sounds great at face value. It sounds wonderful, but the problem is, is we are taking only a small amount of fat. We can only increase a cup size with fat injections, and so basically, it's a very long procedure that people are doing this over six yeah. or eight hours in the operating room, which can increase the risk sure. of complications for me is, is the fat in your body, is, is it like a stuffing in a doll? Can you take it out of one part and put it in another without complication? You can, you can take it out of one place and put it in another, but it's very technique dependent, meaning we have refined techniques and instrumentation for this procedure, but it does involve taking out and putting in small syringes mm -hmm. with small cannulas and then placing it at multiple sites around the breast. So it can be painful too. Wow. And can cause distortion and complications sure. too, as well as infection. Interesting. All right. All right. Well, it's a fascinating topic, but obviously we need more time and research. Right. Dr. Walden, Correct. thanks so much for Thank your you. insights. More Fox and Friends in just two minutes.